this work? Well, these are old hot water baseboards, and the water is, is with the koi pond pump is being pumped up through them all during the day when it's hot in here. Mm -hmm. And that water is going back into these three tanks, and see it has these pipes that go from one tank to another that keeps the level of all three tanks the same. Uh -huh. And then... Why are they like midway? Why don't they be lower? Wouldn't it make sense to be down here? Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. You know? And then, see, so the temperature in here is, of the water is 52 degrees right now. Mm -hmm. But then the temperature in here is 80 degrees. So this water is being pumped up through here and it's picking up this heat coming back in here. Uh -huh. And then... During the day, it picks up the heat, and then at night, it circulates through here and puts the heat out of the tanks back into the So this air again. is constantly running? Yeah. I used to have it on a thermostat, the one that's the down pump? there. The pump's right down in the tank. Okay. It's a koi pond pump for like a fountain. And what, what's going on? Like, what's that thing? Right? Well, this is a return pipe. Uh-huh. And if I, if I take this thing off right here, then all the water, because the pipe was bigger, I wouldn't have to worry about it now. All the water came back just in the first pipe here, but all of it would run in this one tank. Yeah. And it, it couldn't was... equilibrate fast enough through this thing. Uh -huh. So I put the pliers on it so it made it come down both pipes, you know. I want them both to heat up, you know, mm -hmm. at the same time. See, that thing's not, not even, wasn't even picking up the heat in the room right now, because that thing was loose. Yeah. I wonder how that thing came loose. It shouldn't. Somebody pulled on it or something, I bet you. Yeah, someone messed with it. And this is... A timer. That's a timer. Why would... What was the timer for? Oh, I had it kind of set up so that koi pump, pump wouldn't run at night. See that water? And now, see, there's no, none coming here. Uh -huh. But when you put this thing on it, it squeeze it down a little bit, then all of a sudden it starts coming down both pipes. It's coming down both, yeah. yeah. So this is just a heat collection system for the water. Yeah. And then it's a heat, a room heater at night, you know. And it, it, I mean, it seems to work pretty damn good. I mean, it's, you see a 10 degree or 12 degree fluctuation or even more on a hot day from day to night. So it's like, you know, 100, uh, you get about 100 gallons of water here. Uh -huh. 100 gallons of water at 10 degrees, that's the equivalent to 1,000 gallons of, of masonry at 10 degrees. I mean, a thousand, a hundred gallons is 800 pounds. That's equivalent to 8,000 pounds of masonry in terms of heat. You mean storage. like of stone? Of heat, yeah, of stone and heat storage. So that this is equivalent to four tons of stone and heat storage. So a water battery is always better than a stone battery for heat storage. Oh, it's ten times the storage per pound. Yeah. Because it's just, it has a high coefficient of heat, water does, a very high coefficient of heat. You know. I mean, you could build a cinder block wall back here for heat storage, but it's a lot easier just to set, you know, like 200 gallons of water, you know, does the same thing.